how bad would you and I be at panning for gold? I'm serious. Oh, I'd be patient. No, the Bob. only the only thing that I would be that bad at is distinguishing the, 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 if it's gold or not. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I could do this all day. Yeah, you would be. <laughs> I could be out there for sixteen hours. There and you just are like, there. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. are there. Panning yeah, I could gold. do that all day if that's you, my job. You could pan for gold. Yeah, because in my head, I'm like, there's a means to an end to this. Maybe You're, there's no because guarantee. Imagine because back in the day when they did this, imagine the dopamine hit if you got like a nugget. <laughs> It'd be right? amazing. I mean, look. I got a that? nugget. Like, you're just, you know, you out brag. Look at all the nuggets I got. But here's the problem. Yeah. This incited so much violence. This is this was the problem of the gold rush. The amount of violence and war that broke out because of the, the amount of people that were killed in the middle of the night because they, they know that you found gold. I don't got a nugget. Right. That's, that, right. that's you're right. You're you already yelled right. it out. I don't got nothing. I've been here for three days. There's nothing. A, there's, a great show, there's a great movie called The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. And there was a bunch of vignettes, and one of them was... Uh, short films inside of inside of the movie was about a guy who found gold and then, you know, the guy that saw that he found it was like, oh, it, right. it's fucking so dirty. Because immediately, dude, you've been out there. Look, there you are right there. That's Bob. Yeah. You're panning well, for... I, I, look, look, look. look. I don't say that's me. Though. That's <laughs> definitely you. You're panning for what? 10, 12 days. She's You're, panning for rice. <laughs> is that right? Is She's that, obviously panning for rice or something. Crispy rice or regular? The, the, they're panning for gold, these people? Yeah, wow. I don't know. Carlos is fucking Googling. Yeah, Asian panning for gold. And wow. <laughs> she's typed in Asian. But look <laughs> at the way she's dressed. She probably hasn't found anything. She probably what? Hasn't found anything in her whole life. Well, if she, if she has, she... <laughs> or no. maybe she's just saving. See, this is the problem with you. Oh, The shit. moment you found some gold, you'd put on a Gucci shirt and mm -hmm. be panning. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> with my golden goose fucking shoes. <laughs> yeah. it, you have know, golden goose shoes panning for gold. No, she knows. Don't let them know that you got uh. the money. So then when you find the little, I don't know how it works, but I'm sorry, I'm asking questions. No, please. All right. Well, like how you know. My dad was a, a oh, I'm fine, yeah, fine. that's what he did. How yeah, do you think we yeah. ended up out here? But if I found like, are they nuggets you find? Like I found a nut, like a bunch of nuggets. A gold nugget. Nuggets. Most, of the time, most of the time they find flakes. In this day and age, they find a lot of gold flakes. So I got a bunch of flakes. And then you melt, smelt it down into, into liquid gold. Like that, right there. That's exactly what most people find these days. But can you find nuggets? Yeah, of course you can. Look, there's one in the corner. But like the weight of nuggets that are found now isn't as prominent as it was in the fucking Gold Rush days. Let me ask you something. Yeah, why do I know this? No, I have another question. Because I watched the show Gold Rush. It's great. I have another question. Please. One of my favorite disaster movies, <laughs> okay, is called The Core. Just hear me out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the movie The Core, the center of the earth starts stops spinning, right? So what they do is they develop a spacecraft, or, or like an Earth craft, to go into the middle of the Earth, and they let. Anyway, they, when they're going down, they run into all these diamonds, right? Mm -hmm. And when I was watching that in the movie theater, I'm like, that's what I want to do. Is get diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> if I could just get that fucking craft, because in the movie there was so much fucking diamond. It was like caverns of diamonds. Yeah, like just coming down from the, you know what I mean. So let me ask you something, right? If I dug deep, deep enough, would I be able to find China? No. Oh, what? Caverns of diamonds? No. Why? Do you think there is a layer of Earth that is just diamonds? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How do you know there's not? How do you know there's not? Yeah. Then, Thank you, Juice. You know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want both of you guys to start digging. <laughs> No, because there's no way. Right here? I want both of you guys to start. Because <laughs> yeah, you have to go through the mantle. All Scientists have discovered yeah. a full layer of diamonds in Earth's core. There we go. There you go. If we can make it there, just hear me out. I'm listening. Right? That's a lot of diamonds. I, how deep is it? <laughs> Let me figure it out. So that website was in Spanish. I don't know. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, Fancy's right there. It's it, like, look it at, seem, it from the photo, like a, look at how much diamond that is, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, imagine if we discovered that much diamond. How could we lug it out? How heavy would that be? You don't need to take on it all. Whatever your pocket... Oh, I have a fucking <laughs> Pentagonia backpack or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I would the like core. That. The core is found at about 2,900 kilometers. That's 1,800 miles below Earth's surface and so has a radius. Like, how far below our Earth diamonds? There we go. Well, these are just natural diamonds. That's not the naturally diamond, occurring Not diamonds. the diamond place. Right. There is no diamond place. It's not real, you guys. <laughs> yes, Fuck. there is. There's a diamond place. All right. I believe it. I believe there is. Yeah. But they're, I mean, they're in our earth, right? A quadrillion tons of diamonds lurk deep in the earth, but they're spread out over Here the entire- No, dude. That's what we do, dog. 
Well, let's get the fucking diamonds, dog. <laughs> we got to get the diamonds. I'm trying to convince you, dude. Dude, in our earth, there's just plenty of diamonds. But we have to spend so much we money. We don't have to do this acting, podcasting shit no more, dude. Oh, then I'm We're the in. Diamond Brothers. Are we, di- are we the Diamond Bros? We're the Diamond Brothers, dude. <laughs> this That's the Mario Brothers spinoff is the Diamond Bros? Yeah, and what we do is we... Brr, 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 brr. Yep, 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 yep. We just dig for diamonds all day? We can't sell all of it because the thing is is that, you know, demand, right? So we just make get sell enough, Uh huh. right? We corner the mic market in diamonds. How much money do you need to sell? Di- How much money do you want to make on diamonds to, to be good? A billion. <laughs> okay, once we hit a billion, you're okay? Yeah, we're done. Okay, so a couple hundred million? And then what we not do, gonna you know do what it. we do? Yeah. Once we make a billion dollars in cash, mm-hmm. right, then we just give all the diamonds away so that it loses its value, diamonds. Yeah, split them amongst the door guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute, that's so funny. I like how Bobby wants to run like a crypto scam where he's like, once we've made our money, we dump the whole fucking thing. <laughs> then nobody makes money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically what crypto does. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I want to do. Once we make our cash, we fuck it. That's what I want to do. Cool. I, okay, that's fine. What else is Who's going to give us money for the diamonds? That's the problem. Who has the capital? Who are we selling them to? Um, I don't know. The... Careful. What? <laughs> Careful. Rappers? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was not thinking that. What? For their teeth. They love it. You think rappers are going to buy all of our diamonds? <laughs> No, they, 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 they lodge them in their teeth. They love they, it. They do. You're right. Imagine if like they had like the first front tooth just full of diamonds. Are there, you can make a tooth out of diamonds. I think you should have a mouth filled with actual diamonds. I think your you should teach should be replaced with diamonds because diamonds hardest some of the hardest thing on earth, right? Hardest. Yeah, look at hard, that. Oh, uh, Bobby, you look so look cool at that, with the dude. grill like that. Let's get you one of those, Bob. I got to get. But uh, is that real diamonds? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be right. Yeah, but it doesn't no, no. Well. You know what? I want to make it out of that fake steel so that my my everything turns green. In my mouth. Like, like, <laughs> like chains from high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amber Rose boyfriend, Alexandra, Alexandra Edwards, shows off permanent diamond grill. So it's p- it permanently put inside of his mouth. That's what I'm saying. That's what you want. Yeah. Or that's our audience whom we're selling it to. Yeah. Okay. And once we make a billion, we give it all away. Well, then what are we going to do with a billion dollars? Oh, shit. What would you do with a billion? <laughs> Here, you're, you're, you're on the level of Elon Musk. Right. Let's say you sell something. Uh-huh. What would you do with a billion oh, dollars? Oh, got a lot, man. I would buy a pottery barn. Oh, you know, also Pier 1 Imparts. They stop, don't do stop, well. stop, 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 <laughs> stop. Oh, oh, oh. The first thing you said was buy pottery barn? <laughs> the chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? I like it. Okay. If you can't afford it, it's uh, over $3 billion. Fuck, well, with me, with my billion. Oh, wait, wait, oh, pottery yeah. barn's a billion, $3 billion? Uh, we spilled, yeah. All right, for, fuck, I didn't know that much. Uh, $2.5 billion. Yeah, it's an international company. How so. about this? How can, how can I buy Pier 1 Imports? <laughs> How much is Pier One Imports? To I buy. Mean, I mean, I don't know if we can afford Pier One either. <laughs> I need Pier One Imports. Pier One, a f- net worth of five hundred and twelve million. It just said. I could buy half. Okay. I could buy it with half my money. All right, five hundred. So you can buy Pier One. Yeah. Can I buy West End? How much is West yeah, End? Yeah. I really like buy that. West End, dude. Because <laughs> I want re- restoration hardware, but I know I can't afford uh, it. You can't afford that. No. It's too fancy. Yeah. I can buy West. You buy Pier One. I'll buy West End. Yeah. And then Juice, what do you? What company do you want to buy? <laughs> I just want a studio apartment, man. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? How about this? Can you imagine getting getting a billion dollars and she's like, I just want a studio with this billion. She might, you might and do I, that. And by that time, I still can't afford it in LA. Yeah, no, by then you won't. <laughs> but we, free furniture, I'll, get, I'll hook you up from Pier 1. Oh, you would? And West End. And West End. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get a one bedroom. I will say I currently live with five dudes. And it's been like over two years because you are moving out in your own in your your solo spot, right? It's yeah. I mean, I am, but there's no like no time. I, I mean, I don't you, know. You how. lived with five guys for how long? It's been like over two years. Yeah, one of them has a workout, a gym, a gym in, outside your window. CrossFit where he invites more comics over to work out today. It's kind of cool. Which she I can guess. hear them early in the morning do repetitions. <clears throat> Come on, one more, buddy. <laughs> get up, get out, and get lifting, dog. I think that's what he thinks he's doing for me. It's, it's a nightmare. Motivating you? Yeah. That's well, the one thing I love about, you know, finally living in a house is you don't hear like this. Yeah, rub it in. <laughs> yeah. You that's hear- the one thing I like about luxury. <laughs> yeah. Listen up, Juice. No, but you know, it's the the garbage man. What? Is, what? The garbage man what? Because I've lived in the city for so long in an apartment. I always was awakened to either construction or the garbage man. Boop, Don't you, boop, you know, like, boop, 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 I fucking hate it. Yeah, I hated it. it. Hate it. But now what do you hear? Nothing. No, you hear something. What still happens? 
leaf blowers in every part of this city. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but mine comes at two. I told them to come at two. Oh, see, my neighbors, it's just fucking, it's constantly. Yeah. It's That's... constant. I hear this. Ooh, ooh. Is that your neighbor? That's an owl. <laughs> That's an owl. Hey, let's, <laughs> let's trade places. Dude, if my neighbor stood outside my window and went, ooh, ooh, I would call somebody. <laughs> hey, Mike. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> He's a little sick. But we love them. Yeah. What do you say? We should trade places for a week. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like Jerry and Kramer did on Seinfeld. You guys should swap swap places. And I live with the five guys? Yeah. Yes. Actually, dude, that's so fun. It that's would a fun be thing. awesome. You could but join the But then I have to gym. sleep on the bed with your boyfriend. Yeah. But it's and, a California and? king. It's like, oh, it's a California king? Cal king. He's Kramer. six foot eight, this fucking guy. How tall is he? Yeah, six foot two. Yeah. That's He's a like that, huge that, guy. That's not that big. And California King is wide, so you're it, you're not you're gonna yeah. be anywhere near him. Yeah, I have, well, I have a California King. Okay, so you know. Yeah, I do. You should rush it a bit. I, I mean, rough it a bit. Get in with like the people, the working people. I you think you should of, let her live at your house, and yeah. you live at her house. I think it's a great idea. I would do it for a reality show. Well, fancy. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> yeah.